Nashville's cool fall air was filled with the crunch of leaves as Taylor Swift skipped down the porch steps in a cozy cable-knit sweater and pants. She looked all over the garden for her boyfriend Travis Kelsey, who had put a blindfold on her earlier that morning. All right, Tay, Travis said in a loud, amused voice, open your eyes. Taylor did what she was told, blinking away the sleepy feeling. She couldn't get her breath out. Overhead, fairy lights sparkled on a canopy that ran from the house to a tall oak tree. Below them was a soft white floor with a huge picnic basket full of tasty treats in the middle of it. That wasn't all, though. A sight that made Taylor gasp took up most of the space. There is a brand new, high-tech recording studio, which is more like a cabin. It has soundproof walls that shine, a control room with top-of-the-line equipment, and a center recording area that is lit up with warm yellow light. She put her hand to her mouth right away. Travis, who was always the romantic type, knew that her dream of having her own workshop had been a secret to her for a long time. But a studio of this quality? This was way beyond what she had thought possible. Travis, she whispered, her voice heavy with emotion, this is. Happy anniversary, Tay, he said with a nervous smile instead of his normal goofy one. Today is the anniversary of the day you took a chance on a football jock. This is how I say, thank you, for everything you do. Tanya's eyes filled with tears. She wrapped her arms around Travis and put her face against his chest. A choked sob came out of her mouth. The stress of her busy traveling schedule and the constant attention from the media went away when he hugged her. She finally said, it's perfect, Travis, but her voice was blocked by his shirt. Absolutely perfect. Suddenly, Travis' eyes lit up with a hint of mischief. There's more, he said as he took out a small plush box. Taylor took a deep breath. What could be better about this night? A scream cut through the air in Nashville as Travis opened the box and saw a beautiful diamond ring in the shape of a guitar. It wasn't a scared or surprised scream. It was a happy, unrestrained yell that echoed through the neighborhood. It was the sound of pure happiness. What Taylor said in her amazing scream went around like wildfire. Videos went viral online that showed how people really felt at the time. People all over the world were happy for Taylor, not just because of the expensive gift, but also because of how much she loved the star tight end. That night, Taylor and Travis danced under the fairy lights, with the promise of music and a future full of love. The sound of their laughter mixed with the cool fall air. They will always remember that night as proof of how strong love is and how far a football player would go for his dream girl and her dream studio. Nashville's cool fall air was filled with nervous excitement as Taylor Swift, dressed in a sunflower yellow sundress, stood in the middle of her huge garden with her hands tied behind her back. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend and a famous NFL tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, moved around behind her with a big smile on his face. Today was their first anniversary, and Travis, who is known for being very dramatic, promised her a gift that would blow her away. Travis's deep voice repeated, Okay, Tay. Hold on tight. With a flash, he took off the blindfold. Taylor opened his eyes and gasped. The sight in front of her took her breath away. A life-sized copy of the house she grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania, complete with a white picket fence and a tire swing that sways gently in the wind. From the chimney came curls of smoke that smelled like cookies baking, just like her mom used to do. It got so cold that Taylor's tears turned into crystals. This house wasn't just a house, it was a real piece of her past, a carefully reconstructed memory. She turned around and wrapped her arms around Travis' neck. Oh my god, Travis, she screamed, her voice full of pain. Wow, this is amazing. How did you even? Travis laughed and put his arms around her. Let's just say I enlisted the help of a very talented architect and a whole lot of discretion. It was no secret that Taylor was crazy about her first home when she was a kid. During their many late night talks, she told Travis stories about going out the window to chase fireflies and how the floorboards creaks made her feel better. He knew this wasn't just a house, it was a reminder of how pure she was and where her hopes began. Travis took a small step back and held her eyes. This isn't even the best part he said with a smile. Taylor raised an eyebrow in interest. There's more? 
he reached into his pocket and took out a shiny silver key. Think of it as your own time capsule. Full of the things that make you unique. We're not going to show anyone your high school yearbooks or those embarrassing pictures from your youth. Taylor smiled with her lips curled into a sly grin. Oh, it's on. Kelsey, you're going down. As they skipped hand in hand toward the fake house, laughter filled the air. As she walked inside, she could smell her mom's famous snickerdoodles, which were made with sugar and cinnamon. She felt a wave of pure happiness. Not just a house, this was a love letter that showed Travis would always try to understand and love every part of her. That night, Taylor looked up at the sky full of stars while sitting on the porch swing that was an exact copy of the one she had as a child. She said, thank you, Travis, in a deep voice that was full of thanks. This is the best anniversary gift anyone could ask for. Travis put his hand on hers. We want the best for you, Taylor. This is just the start. With memories and the hope of a future brighter than the stars above, they swayed slightly in the cool night air. Taylor knew she wasn't just celebrating a year with Travis, she was celebrating a love that made her feel like she was coming home. Nashville's cool fall air was filled with nervous excitement as Taylor Swift stood there with her hand tightly gripped around Travis Kelsey's. They started dating a year ago on a whim and because they really liked each other. Even the most experienced showbiz reporters were shocked by how quickly they fell in love. Travis had something really big planned for tonight, their first date. It made him pace for days. Travis's low voice, all right, Tay, sent chills up her spine. We're here. He carefully took off the blindfold, which made Taylor gasp. They were on a private jet strip, and a sleek Gulfstream G650ER was shining in the hangar lights. She breathed out, Travis. Her voice was heavy with feeling. Travis smiled, but his cheeky grin was tamed by a worried look in his eyes. That's not all, he said in a whisper. He led her to the plane, and when the door opened, she saw something that took her breath away. The inside had been completely changed. A fancy living room set with a crackling fireplace cast onto one wall took the place of the soft white seats. As you looked up, fairy lights twinkled, throwing a warm glow over the rose petals and fancy picnic food. But it was the huge red bow on the plane's nose that really shocked her. Travis, Taylor choked out, her eyes filling with tears. This is. It's ours, he said with pride in his voice. To Tay, happy anniversary. I know you like to fly, and you once said you wanted a home studio on wheels. Well, he pointed to the inside of the plane, think of it as a mix of the two. When Taylor jumped at him, she wrapped her arms around his neck. She put her face in his chest and squeezed him hard. You did that? For me, she asked in a low voice that was masked by his shirt. Travis laughed, and the sound was full and warm. Anything for you, princess. As they moved back, Taylor's eyes lit up with a mix of happiness and shock. Fifty million dollars, she let out a breath. Travis, that's insane. He shrugged, and a silly smile tugged at his lips. You're worth it. He brushed a loose hair off of her face and looked at her with a soft eye. Plus, think of all the songs you can write up here. Just think of the views. Taylor's smile got bigger. Travis knew her. He knew how much she loved making music, how she loved to travel, and how much she wanted to be alone. Not just a plane, this was a huge flying sign of his love for her that showed how much he knew about her. Once more, tears of happiness came to my eyes. She wrapped her arms around him once more. You're the best, Travis Kelsey, she said in a loud voice. The absolute best. Travis laughed and the sound could be heard all the way through their private jet's fancy cabin. He held her close, and the sound of their laughter filled the empty hangar, making a beautiful song to honor their love and the amazing year they had together. As they moved apart, Taylor's eyes lit up with a hint of mischief. So, where to first, Captain Kelsey, she asked with a challenge in her voice. Travis smiled, and his eyes sparkled. Go anywhere you want, Mrs. Kelsey to be. Everything in the world is right at your feet, or at least at the end of this runway. 